Welcome to the Kedel Labs how-to series. In today's tutorial, we will explore how to automate Databricks job via API. Specifically, we'll cover triggering Databricks jobs, automating execution, and monitoring job status using the REST API. Let's get started. To begin, access the Databricks console and navigate to the Data Engineering section. Under the Jobs tab, locate the pre-configured bookstore demo job and navigate to the Tasks tab to review which include LAN new data for loading new data, DLT for data transformation, and pipeline underscore results for processing the final output. Additionally, email notifications are set up for both success and failure scenarios, providing real-time updates. After verifying details, go to the Runs tab and click Run Now. Instead of using Run Now, we'll automate job execution with the Databricks REST API. Next, Automate job execution using the Databricks REST API and Postman. Check the API documentation for trigger and tracking endpoints. First go Databricks page, copy the job ID from the Jobs section for API requests. In Postman, add the Databricks API endpoint and format the URL with the instance address and job trigger endpoint. Selecting bearer token authentication and pasting your personal access token retrieved from the Databricks admin console in the request body, specify the job ID copied from Databricks and send the request. Once the request is sent, the job initiates in Databricks, transitioning from idle to running short. You can monitor execution status, including start time, run ID, launch duration, current status, error codes, parameters passed. After the job completes, navigate to the run section in Databricks to verify its success. To track job status via API, Retrieve the run ID from the API response and use it in a GET request. Then click Send to receive real-time updates about the job status. The response provides details such as total execution time, task-wise breakdown, and final job status. Upon completion, email notifications are sent to the configured recipients, summarizing the job name and execution status. Stay tuned for more tutorials on Databricks. Thanks for watching.